So now that we know how to lock both sides, what usually happens is that people fix on a particular base that they prefer using, and they lock both sides with that all the time. Now, that can be a good thing, um, but sometimes, uh, like this example, using base 5 um, would minimise the amount of working that I need to deal with. Okay, so it is useful to know which base would probably be a better one to use. Um, when I was learning this topic, uh, mainly due to the restriction of the calculator that I had available to me, I didn't have this button on my Casio calculator when I was doing A-level maths. That button wasn't there. So I couldn't evaluate log base 5 or log base 8 or log base 7. Um, so we didn't take logs of base 8 or base 5 or base 7. Okay, we didn't do that. Um, didn't take logs of both sides of that. Uh, because I wasn't going to be able to evaluate the logarithm at the end. Now I could have done because um, uh, there is the ln button on my calculator, I could evaluate it using natural logs using the change of base, um, which we looked at previously. But um, I wasn't actually taught how to change the base, so I didn't know that I could do that. So anyway, um, I always use natural log. Uh, if I'm going to take logarithms of both sides, um, mainly for historical purposes, uh, that's what I was taught, but also uh, writing LN rather than LOG and then a base is just quicker. So in general, it's just a quicker way of doing it. So with these few examples that we're going to look at, I'm going to use natural log to take bases of both sides, or take logs of both sides, rather. So here, I'm going to take the natural log of the left-hand side and the natural log of the right-hand side. I can bring the x down to the front using the power rule and then divide both sides by the natural log of 5. So x is the natural log of 9 divided by the natural log of 5. And that is the exact answer to the original problem in terms of the natural log.